The phone rings. It is a yellow rotary phone. Not a bright yellow, mind you, but more of a faded, creamy yellow. Like banana cream pie. This phone has sat on my desk for years. Ever since I got a sweet deal on it at a yard sale from an old lady who used to live down the street from me. I've answered this phone hundreds, no, thousands of times. I stare at it every day, waiting, praying for it to ring. Praying for it to bring me a new challenge, a new puzzle, a new sense of fulfillment. Praying for it to whisk me away from this mundane office I call home and into a dramatic tale of thievery, treachery, murder, or whatever sin it be today. And now, my prayers have been answered. I answer the phone, eager to introduce myself the way I always do. But I resist. I resist because there is a noise, a commotion, coming through the phone. It is a noisy, confused mess of laughs, screams, and general pandemonium. So I wait. Wait for the faceless voice on the other side of my banana cream yard sale rotary phone to satisfy my longing soul with its riveting tale of criminality and ramification. Hello? Hello. Such a simple word taken for granted in our society. How many times a day do we utter this word? How many times do we hear it? Are we immune to the power behind its meaning and intention? Consider a whole word dedicated entirely to a welcoming greeting among two human beings. It is fascinating. It is thought-provoking. It is inordinately undervalued by humankind. And yet, from the lips of this man, it is more than a word. It is a question. No. It is a lifetime of questions. It is motivated. It is intentional. It is spoken not simply to welcome or to greet, but to elicit. To elicit a response from its recipient. A response not only of mouth, but of body, of mind, and of soul. I open my mouth, ready and willing to answer the solicitation. But before I can, I am faced with a new one. A new cry for information, for understanding, for contentment. Who is this? He speaks, inquisitive and distraught. I take a deep breath. Who am I? I am the stentorian voice of every voiceless victim ensnared by the unforgiving juggernaut of offenses perpetrated by agents of wickedness and wrongdoing. I am the howling winter wind that chills the ears of those who dare to defy that which is rightful and just. I am the ghost of forgotten thoughts that haunt the short-term memories of the guilty and whispers calming encouragement to the troubled thoughts of the innocent. I am, to the eyes of my opposers, without flaw, worry, or struggle. I am frightening to my friends and enemies alike. I am strong. I am smart. And I am of a helping heart. I am acquaintance to none, family to few, and loveless towards most. I am neither debtor nor creditor. I am a collector, and a supplier of closure and lawfulness. Who am I? Charlotte Wilson. Pia. There's nobody here by that name. I think you have the wrong number. <laughs>